Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0834, Sunday, February the 11th. And today, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to win the top spot in Arena. While we're navigating there, smash that subscribe button. To get the top spot, right now, Venom is holding on to it. Good luck, buddy, if you're trying to win. To get that top spot, let's provide a little bit of context very briefly. You can see from my avatar, I have earned it. I earned it the first week that Arena 2.0 was live. We learned a lot that week. That was that was a stressful week. Um, so I'm going to explain some of the stuff that I learned that week, really, really pushing hard, using hundreds of permits, and, and hopefully make your push for the top a little bit easier than it was for me, okay? First thing that we need to discuss is points. This is different from Arena 1.0. In Arena 1.0, the points that you earned for a win uh, basically stayed the same no matter what, how, no matter how different, how big of a point gap there was between you and the other person. You could just go to the sky, someone hit the point cap of 9,990 or 99 or something. Um, it wouldn't go over that. You cannot do that anymore. The reason that you can't do that is because the number of points that you either get or lose is dependent on the difference in points between you and the person that you are attacking or the person that is attacking you. Example, right now I am at 2421, this person at the top, 2417, 17 points if I beat them, I'm just above them. We go down a little bit further and we have uh, 2449, just more than me, 18 points. I get more points for Razi. This goes up to a maximum of 25 points if they're really far ahead of you. I don't remember the exact number. And it goes to a minimum of one point if you are about 500 points ahead of the person that you're attacking. Okay? So there is a... Uh, there is a very large difference in who you can attack and how you can attack and how far ahead of the competition you can go. Because the more you push ahead, if you're in that top spot, right? If you're Venom right now, if he attacks Ron and he can beat him in the number two position, then he's only gonna get, I don't know, 12 or 13 points or something like that. But Ron, if he attacked Venom, he would get a, like 20 points, 20, 22 points, something like that, and Venom would lose that many points. So it makes a huge difference in who you are attacking and who's attacking you. And the reason that this is important is because you want to use that to your advantage throughout the last day. Today on Sunday, you don't want to hold on to that top spot all day because you get less points for wins and it is easier for people to bring you down when they attack you. So you will have to spend more arena permits in order to get the same point value gain than someone who is behind you. The way that you use this to win yourself is don't hold on to the top spot. Stay behind it. Stay two, three, top 10, whatever. Nip at people's heels all day. That way you can get the most bang for your buck, essentially, right? You can get more points per arena free refresh, which means that these end up costing less. Overall, you have to pay less to win. Right now it's at 150, this will go up to 200, it'll end up going up to 800 for five arena refreshes. It adds up very, very quickly. Okay, so nip at people's heels, get more points per win. The next thing that you need to know is that there is a cap on the number of points that you can lose from defense losses, all right? It's about 600 points. We thought this was a bug when we first discovered it, but it's absolutely a cap. Once you lose, once you hit this cap, once you have lost about 600 points from defense losses specifically, not offense losses, defense losses, you will no longer lose points from defense losses, and you can only gain points from wins. You can still lose points from offense losses, but at the end of the day, when you're pushing and ideally only attacking people that you can win, which we will get to in a minute, um, you won't lose points from those same people attacking you anymore. One way that you can use this to your advantage is by swapping out your strong team that you're going to push with for a weaker team that can get farmed. 
do it the day do it just before reset the on on saturday or early on in the day whatever so that you get farmed you lose a lot of points you either hit cap or hit close to it and then swap over to your strong team start attacking people since you have fallen behind you'll get more points per win you'll get tw up to a maximum of 25 points per win so you regain those lost points very very quickly and either you have already hit cap or you will hit cap very soon towards the end when it's time to push and you will have a significant advantage over your competition that either hits cap later or will never hit cap depending on on what they did right if they kept their strong team and they're pushing for the top spot they'll probably never hit cap and then in the last couple hours when you're pushing you have a major advantage over that competition all right so understand that there's a cap and understand how you can manipulate that to help you win Another thing that you need to consider is the uh, timeline. Sorry. Uh, towards the end of the day, before reset, you will have to push. Okay. Now, the way that you push is you are going to come here. You're going to refresh. It's free every 15 minutes. But if you do it more often than that, you, can, you have to wait five seconds in between refreshes. Cost 20 diamonds. You can do that 100 times, 2,000 diamonds total if you use all of them. But the way to utilize this to help you win is that throughout Saturday and Sunday, identify who you can beat and who you cannot beat. Write a list if you can't remember it all in your head. Okay, use your refreshes, only attack the people that you can beat and cycle through. Use these diamond refreshes very, very quickly. That way you can gain points every few minutes instead of not, right? The other part of this is save these refreshes for the last couple hours. Don't use them throughout the day. You want your maximum ability to cycle and gain points quickly. So wait until your last couple hours. That exact time when that's going to start is going to be dependent on, on your account and how many people are pushing against you. But hold on for those last couple hours. Identify who you can beat, who you can't beat. Use your refreshes, cycle through them, and beat them as quickly as you can. You're probably going to need to manual a lot of these, right? Because Arena 2.0, we have to manual a lot more. That's okay. Know who you can beat. Know who you can't beat. And use these refreshes in the last couple hours. With that... Um, know that there are three different styles of arena right now. There's anti-air, AOE, and single target DPS. So push on the week that you have your strongest account, that, that you have your strongest team, excuse me. At the time of this recording, this week is anti-air. The, the rotation, excuse me. Last week was single target. This week is anti-air. Next week will be AOE, okay? So identify which week is your strongest and push on that week. The next thing that you need to consider or, you know, uh, the next thing you need to think about is, is enlisting some help. Get some friends, some guildmates. If you have some, if you know some people that are in the conversation that are, you know, in Apex, essentially, as you're getting towards that push time in the last few hours, you will identify who is pushing against you and who is not, right? Because some people will keep moving and some people will have either ignored it or gone to bed, you know, been happy with Apex and they're two uh, ancients, whatever the case may be. The people that are still moving, if you have some friends with some strong accounts, they can stay in Apex and they can attack those people. They can use their refreshes to find those people that are competing against you. And assuming they haven't hit cap, if you have three, two or three people attacking one specific person and only one person attacking you, then obviously you have a larger advantage there. This advantage widens if you have hit your loss cap, because even if they're attacking you, you're not going to lose points, okay? So, big takeaways. Understand the point difference, okay? Understand that you get more points if you're beating someone that is in a higher position than you, that has more arena points than you, and you get less points if you're attacking someone that's in a lower position, that has less points than you okay there is a cap on that from 1 to 25 understand how to utilize that nip at people's heels throughout the day so that you get more points per win so you have to use less arena permits so you have to spend less diamonds all right potentially swap out your strong team for a weak team so that you can hit your cap early 
so that you can widen the gap at the end. Understand the timeline. You're going to have to push through reset in the last couple hours and use your refreshes to only hit the people that you know you can win and get some help uh, to make it easier on you, okay? There's no, there's, there's nothing against that. There's no reason you can't do it. It'll make your push easier. Get some help so that all of you can target the folks that are going to push against you, all right? I hope these tips were helpful. I hope they make your push for the top spot easier than mine was. Uh, if you appreciated this video, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. If, if you've got questions, you know, there's other stuff that I'm sure I didn't cover. If you've got questions, put them in the comments, join the Discord server, ask them. I'm more than happy to help you. But again, thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.